What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. And in this video, we are gonna be going over who should be the Texas Rangers starting catcher. And let me get this clear, nowadays, if you have a starting catcher, they're not gonna start a majority of the games. It's gonna be a good split, but I'm still gonna go into it. So before we get into the video, make sure to join the Discord because obviously I can't be making content 24-7. But then we could just like talk about Rangers rumors um, even further in the Discord. So check that out. Um, link is in the description. So we really have three candidates to be the Texas Rangers starting catcher in 2022. But if you've watched any of the past videos or if you've been watching the live streams, to me, it really comes down to two candidates for the starting job. And that's Jose Trevino and Jonah Heim. The reason why I don't think, well, first of all, there's only three catchers on the 40-man roster and the reason why I don't think that Sam Huff even though he is um, our fifth prospect in the organization and a top 100 prospect and he has massive power the reason why I don't think Sam Huff will be a the starting catcher for the Rangers in 2022 is I don't think he's developed obviously he'll probably start in the well he will start in the minor leagues but also his knee injury his knee injuries have been super concerning over the past few years um last spring training he hurt his hamstring running the bases and while he was rehabbing his hamstring he hurt his knee and then he had the dh um and play first base the entire minor league season last year and then in the arizona fall league this year he hurt his knee so i'm starting to wonder is it best for him to be a first base slash dh and maybe play left field from here on out. So I think he's out of the conversation. Um, I do wish Sam Huff the best in the Rangers organization, but I don't know if catcher is the best thing for him. So now it's down to Jose Trevino or Jonah Heim. And obviously these are two defensive money catchers. Jose Trevino we drafted, and then Jonah Heim we got in the Elvis Andrews trade. And this is where I am with Jose Trevino. I think we know what we're going to get out of him. Uh, he's a great defensive-minded catcher. He helps get the pitching staff through innings, but we know that he's not good on the base pass, and he sucks offensively. So that's what you get with Jose Trevino, and he's older out of the two. And then you flip the script to Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim, he's probably roughly about the same level that Jose Trevino is defensively you never know if the pitchers have a better connection with Jose Trevino but I think this is I think Jonah Heim has the best upside for at the plate he's a big switch hitting catcher and usually those take time to develop and you just hope that with the new hitting coach Tim Hires and the new offensive coordinator Donnie Eckert maybe they can unlock something in Jose Trevino where he could become at least a league average um catcher in the league because i know i saw some forms of potential last year out of jonah heim it was super intriguing and let's just say that the pitchers i mean there's going to be some new pitchers on this pitching staff if they have a good connection with jonah heim i think you have to give him a shot because he's younger um he plays really good defense and I think he has the best upside. But what do you guys think? And let me get this clear. Even though Jonah Heim and Jose Trevino are both good defensively, um, if pitchers are more comfortable with one, you have to go with that. So let's say we sign Clayton Kershaw and he's more comfortable with Jose Trevino. Then we're going to have Jose Trevino catch for Clayton Kershaw. Obviously, if Jose's injured, you're going to have Jonah Heim. But for me, I want Jonah Heim being our starting catcher. That doesn't mean he's going to play 80% of the games. It might be 60-40, 55-45. But let me know. I think Jonah Heim has potential. And I really hope these new hitting coaches can unlock something. That would be great. Because obviously, Chris Davis didn't do anything in the trade. Dan Acker has Tommy John right now. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We just hit 40 I mean, I almost have 40,000 subscribers, 400 subscribers, so I really appreciate. Last year around this time, I had a, well, we had 100, so I really appreciate the love. And make sure to share, um, share the content. Thank you, and have a great day. Peace.